WTBA Sports with Sports Director Jim Holden. In late March, North Pontotoc and Boonville's baseball teams split a pair of games against each other. Each team won at home. Fast forward to May, the two division rivals are playing again for the Class 3A North Half Championship. Game one of the best of three series in that crew. No score in the bottom of the fourth. North Pontotoc has the bases loaded. Braxton Suddeth with a line drive at Zach Gann. The nice snag at third, and the Blue Devils would get out of the inning unscathed. But the Vikings would load the bases again in the fifth, and after a sack fly makes it 1 nothing. Ty Robertson with a base hit to right. Sheffield Anthony rounds third and scores to make it 2 nothing. North Pontotoc. Later in the frame, more from the Vikings. It's Suddeth back at the plate, and this time no one's catching this. Off the wall in right center. Hence Hooper will score to make it 5 0 North Pontotoc, and the Vikings go on to win it by the final of 7 0. Game two scheduled for Friday in Boonville, weather permitting. Just one other area baseball game played tonight just finished up. Class 4A North Half opener between Pontotoc and New Hope. Trojans win 7 6. Game two Friday in Pontotoc, weather permitting. State High School softball championships underway at Mississippi State. Tishomingo County playing for its first state title. Braves taking on longtime powerhouse Newton County in game one of their Class 4A series. To News Park we go and Tishomingo County, led by Jerry Long, striking first in the bottom of the first. Macy Busby cracking a two run homer. Over the left field wall, but the Lady Cougars come right back to tie it at two. A Newton County error, though, in the bottom of the third allows Tish to retake the lead. Lady Braves tack on another run in the fifth on Ashland Overby's sack fly to center. Tish was three outs away from winning game one, but the nine time champions from Newton County rally in the top of the seventh. Landry Amos scores the go ahead run on Shelby Anderson's sack fly. Newton County wins game one, five to four. Game two set for a 12 30 start on Friday. We had a couple chances to score and didn't get the runs in, and they did. And and when you're in the state championship, you gotta you gotta take advantage of your situations. And we're gonna fight tomorrow. This thing ain't over. I promise you. We're gonna fight to the end. Southern Miss also hosting the state softball championships, but rain postponing today's action in Class 1A. It's Vardaman Smithville, Class 3A South Pontotoc and Choctaw Central. All games in Hattiesburg postponed until Monday and Tuesday. Ole Miss and MSU.